So Adobe got, um, you know, you know, they, they took some heat this week. Uh, I think the story first broke on Bloomberg, but basically that Adobe, their whole, we're really ethical. We train everything 100% using an ethical framework on our own stock imagery. Um, you know, it turns out that someone uh, was able to uh, deconstruct the model and find that mid journey, another uh, model that's used, uh, you know, another LLM for, or not an LLM, it's an image generation AI tool. Uh, some of their imagery was used in Adobe's uh, Firefly. Uh, Pat, okay, so can can I be a little bit, I'm, I'm gonna be a little callous about this. It Do it. feels to me like, like really? Like, so you got the, like everybody's loving on some Sora and you, here you got the CTO of Sora, like what did you train your model on? Uh, publicly available data. Uh, did you use YouTube? Uh, and then, by the way, did I do a pretty good impression of the interview? I'm going to get the angle right. You did. All right. So anyways, and they came back and basically nobody cares, right? In the end, it's like, so basically she didn't say we trained it on something else, but she didn't really say they didn't train it on YouTube data. Um, so here we have a model that's, what, 5% apparently that was trained on mid-journey. Um, I think lower prioritized uh, data in the overall model framework. Um, I think if we actually unpack all the models that have been trained, we would be super disappointed to find out that everybody's telling us something that's not exactly correct. This doesn't give Adobe a free pass. They try to use the high road. We're doing it and we're better in how we do things. And it's never good when it comes back that you didn't do what you said you did. Um, but having said that, I also think there's just such a huge gambit. I mean, the vast majority, almost 95% was trained exactly as they prescribed. I do think that this is a little bit of clickbait. It's a little bit of, oh my God-ism. And even the titles made it sound like Adobe used all mid-journey. It was a very small amount. I think we either need full transparency or we don't. Meaning like if we're going to do this and kind of roast companies, for what they're doing, then we should look at all the models and how they're trained. I don't think we want to do that though. I don't think people want to know how this happened. I don't think a lot of people want to know how much of their personal and private data has probably been used, anonymized or not, to train these models. I think it's a little eerie out there. Having said that, I do think Adobe's trying very hard to hold up, hold the line, uh, be a bit more above board, be a bit more transparent in what they're doing. Never works well when you say that and then it comes out that you didn't do exactly what you say. But I wouldn't be surprised, Pat, and that's why I'm callous about it, is if we unpack the training data sets for almost all these models that we look at to find out that a lot of data um, from a lot of sources that surprise us was actually used in the making of these models. So Adobe's got a little cleanup to do, but not. I don't, I don't, just don't think this is as severe as the headlines. Yeah, Dan, I don't even know what to take to the bank anymore right um i mean this 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 was not something that i expected from adobe at all and particularly the company has a page called adobe firefly versus mid journey and the last thing on the page right talks about uh, community first and compensating Adobe stock contributors and commercially safe for individuals and enterprise creative teams. And now I, I, I believe that, that they're doing all of those, but yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit of a surprise and Adobe was the most in my head, the most pristine, uh, of that. Cause they, they, at least the way I interpreted it was it was black and white, right? We're using Adobe stock uh, footage that we're paying contributors for, and you don't have to worry about getting sued or something uh, or something like this. So, yeah, are we finding out that pretty much everybody is doing this? I think so, right? And unlike you, Dan, I would like to see what's under the hood of of all of these models. In fact. One of the things I gave a lot of credit to um, Salesforce 
is that uh, and IBM is they gave their sources and their methods for it. So for instance, what's the data they used? How did they prune it? And um, what was the method of, of the output? And and to me that's 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 really good. I, I will bet you that Adobe's getting some indemnification requests uh, at this point. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to see. And by the way, comparison to Dolly three, like you have no idea what they trained it on. Uh, remarkably, when you try to create a Yoda character, it comes back and it looks like a freaking Yoda character, right? Uh, did they totally hoover the entire Disney uh, workup? I don't know. But, you know, I, I, if we're looking at that from that angle, Adobe looks uh, pretty darn clean. You, you cannot get Firefly to do anything that comes back that looks like it came uh, back from licensed, uh, or- licensed content, you know, Disney content uh, or something like that. That's a great point, Pat. I mean, that's why I said, like, the trillion parameter models, though, a billion even, like, this isn't being QA'd by some, you know, uh, is some fact checker. I mean, it's too big. There's, like, literally no, you know what I mean? The only thing you can build is more AI to actually check the AI. Yeah. Uh, It's just not, it's, I don't know. There's going to be mistakes made, but, you know, if this is what we're holding the world accountable for, which it should, you know, I just hope we have some higher standards up the chain in other areas 